Less than 1% of all articles written about leadership have a focus upon followership. Why does the concept of leadership receive far greater attention than the idea of followership? Leaders cannot succeed without the active engagement of followers. In other words, leadership success is not solely dependent on dynamic leaders and requires more than just passive followers. Despite the focus upon leaders, academics such as Kelly and Shalef propose that the behaviours, styles and characteristics of effective followers had a significant role in the success of leaders and was a critical component of understanding the leadership dynamic. Nonetheless, the journey of leadership theory from the great man theories down to transformational and authentic leadership have been dominated by a focus upon traits, characteristics and behaviours of leaders and their effect upon non-leaders. While later theories acknowledge the existence of followers and mechanisms by which leaders influence followers, far less is written or indeed understood about the reverse process and the possibility that followers can support and even facilitate effective leadership. Baker concludes that this is most likely because organisations are typically hierarchical, with leaders imbued with positional authority to control those below them. However, with the changes in the economy in the late 80s and 90s and pressures to downsize and right-size, organisations began to flatten with fewer layers of hierarchy and power delegated to followers more than ever before. As early as 1974, Hollander recognised that at least at some points in time, and to various extents, leaders were also followers. Additionally, some of the characteristics and behaviours required to be a good leader were also those required to be a good follower, and as such, the leader-follower dyad was characterised by mutual influence and exchange. Transformational leadership, for example, requires the leader and follower to transform each other not only to achieve their shared goal, but also to become better individuals in the process. The concept of active followership arose alongside models of transformational leadership and subsequent theories which emerged from it. Essentially, academics such as Shalev argue that for leadership to be effective, followers needed to be willing to take on responsibility, to both serve and be willing to challenge their leaders. To suggest, as well as adapt to change, and to oppose leaders where their actions were harming others and or the organisation as a whole. As a result, effective leaders were those who could also be effective followers. Effective leaders could and should be able to identify effective followers in order to succeed as a leader, since leaders and followers share a common purpose. The active followership literature can be characterised by four themes. Firstly, Followers and leaders are roles, not people with inherent characteristics. Secondly, followers are active, not passive. Thirdly, followers and leaders share a common purpose. And finally, leadership is a relationship between leaders and followers. Hollander noted that a role is a set of behaviours which are needed to successfully fulfil the requirements of that role. Likewise, followers fill roles based upon their ability to fulfil their role. However, neither followers or leaders are permanently confined to these roles. Hence, conceptions of leader and follower only have meaning in relation to these roles and the relationship these roles have to each other. In other words, it is the relationship of the roles to one another that characterise leader-follower and not the people to one another. This is best seen as the fact that rarely does a person in an organisation occupy a leadership role wherein they are not also a follower to someone higher up in the organisation at the same time. Even in the case of CEOs, it can be argued that they play a follower role to the wishes of the board and the board chair. Academics such as Follett and Barnard propose that leaders are effectively blind without the active engagement and feedback from followers about their progress towards the goal. Leaders cannot lead effectively if followers are not accepting responsibility or questioning the best way in which things should be done and actively feeding back progress towards the leader's vision. On a more fundamental level, without a follower's cooperation and assent, a leader has no authority. This idea can be exemplified by Mahatma Gandhi, the leader of India's independence movement. Gandhi used the idea of passive resistance to British rule as a key mechanism in gaining their eventual independence from Britain. Contemporary leadership theories identify that leadership requires a shared purpose or vision. This is to say that followers need to be committed to a common purpose. 
While roles differ between leaders and followers, they are both striving towards fulfilment of the objective and implicitly the success of each other in the process. Leaders need to ensure that their decisions are therefore mutually beneficial, since they share responsibility for the fulfilment of these decisions. Leadership is an interdependent dynamic involving a two-way influence process. It is neither unidirectional, as many leadership theories may imply, nor is it simple. In other words, the leader-follower relationship is reciprocal and involves two-way support and influence, more characteristic of a partnership than a solo activity. As such, the success of the partnership is the equal responsibility of the leader and the follower. Leaders and followers are therefore mutually accountable to one another. Followership theory highlights that leadership is not possible without followers, and that success is dependent upon a complex dynamic which includes a leader's intimate understanding of the behaviours, characteristics and styles of their followers.